Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, and today is about how to stop hooking. And I know a lot of you good players out there want to uh, have the magic formula to prevent you from going to the left side of the golf course and you're saying, well, if I could just eliminate the left side of the course, well, don't go that way just yet, okay? Um, it's not about poor technique, it's about poor focus. Now, if you go to my throwing the club video, you look at any of the best players, go back to, I mean, I, I saw David Duval, Annika Sorenstam, they all lag beautifully through the shot. Something that you will see yourself doing wonderfully when you're throwing the club to a target. So if I take my golf club here, pretend I'm throwing it out to that keep out sign. So I gather my backswing and I'm throwing, 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 throwing. I'm throwing the club there. So you'll notice as you throw the club that your, your, your lag is going to be phenomenal. Go to my Throwing the Club Sean Clement video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And we've got on, the, on our premium channel, we've got a, a full session and I'm, you'll see me chucking clubs, you know, 75 yards away towards our, our telephone poles on the range there. Just a phenomenal exercise you can do for yourself. So we go from throwing the club to predicting what's going to be in the way when you throw the club in that direction. So if I have my trusty grass whip here, if I throw this grass whip toward the keep out sign from this position, I feel like I'm going to miss the ball entirely. Okay. Yes, I threw it there. Yes, I missed the ball. So I lower myself. Feels like I'm going to hit the ball right in the forehead if I throw it out there. Okay. So I'm going to throw the grass whip out to the keep out sign. My mind is on the keep out sign. Keep out, keep out. Throw to keep out. And you'll see that nice lag in that one there too. So I threw to keep out and I realized I bladed the ball exactly in the center of that grass whip. So I get lower. If I throw this grass whip toward the keep out sign, it feels like I'm going to cut the tee, the rubber tee out from beneath the ball and the ball's not going to go anywhere. Throw it to keep out. Yes, I threw it to keep out and notice how I went clean underneath the golf ball. So it's when you say, well, I want to go that way, but I want to make sure I hit the ball solid. Well, you can't be there and there at the same time. The ball always wins. And here's what's going to happen. Throw at the ball. There goes your lag. Ah, look, see, my lag's gone. When the ball's there, I don't have lag. And when I don't have a ball, I got beautiful lag. Well, <laughs> stay with your target. Throw to the target and predict what's going to happen. So right now, it feels like I'm going to miss the ball. Right now, I'm going to top the ball. Right now, the sole of the club's going to cut grass through that dandelion stem. Okay, so if I throw it out there, it feels like the sole of the club's cutting through the stem. That's the action I see. All right, throw it out there, throw it out there. Throw it out there. Yes, I released out there. So guess what's going to happen? When you lag, the club face stays open much longer. You're collecting the ball here, releasing the ball there. When you release at the ball, oh, look at that. My right shoulder just went over the top, damn thing. It's evil. And my right hand is now, because I'm now way in front of the ball, this is what's going to happen to you. So, ball, now I'm way out in front of it, low points over here. I got to hurry up and hit the ball before I miss it. So what's going to happen is you're going to reach back, throw the club into the ball with your right hand. Well, of course, your brain is trying to save the furniture, right? There's a big flood of everything's oozing out in front of the ball and you got to hurry up and hit the ball before you miss it. Well, then you think, oh my God, I'm rushing the swing and I'm throwing the, my right hand. I got to calm my right hand down. It's not about that at all. Instead, let's throw the club over there. Well, this is me throwing the club into the ball. Throw. Yeah, yeah. You'll feel the need to throw down with the right hand. Isn't that something? Now I'm going to throw toward the target. 
throw. Ooh, look at that. The right hand is under. The right shoulder is under. I've got this beautiful steep shoulder plane through impact. The right side is coming down and under and out. Wow. Well, guess what? All I had to do was throw the club over there. Period. End of sentence. Okay? So, where am I going? That way. That's what I see in my mind. I don't see this. And I throw. If I throw it that way, I predict I'm going to miss. I predict I'm going to top. I predict I'm going to cut grass. Therefore, the ball will meet the club face. Even better than that, I want to feel that the sole of the club is going to drag through a little bit of dirt here. Nope. Nope. Yes. Okay. What's it feel like when I throw out there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was throwing my club into the net with Sean or I was throwing the club at the, at the football goal post, you know, with my $5 uh, uh, barrel golf club. So here we go. Throw out there. Yes, I threw it out there. Caught it a little thin, but that throw was wonderful. And you'll see, if you look at my lag, beautiful lag coming through the shot. Well, I'm not thinking about the lag. I'm not thinking about quieting down my right hand. That would be crazy. I'm not a puppet. I can't, I can't focus on body positions. All kinds of scientific bodies have proven that, how we are so useless at thinking about body parts. But if you give us a proper task, throw the club that way then all is good. If you are distracted by the ball, then you can't throw that way. That would be not so good, right? So find a way to throw that way regardless of what, is, what you see down here. And that the, the best way to do that is, and go ahead and, and practice them all. I'm going to miss. Yes, I threw there. And I, yes, I missed. I'm going to top. Yes, I threw there. Yes, I topped. I'm going to hit it flush. Yep. Oh yeah. Yes, I threw there. Yes, I hit it flush. Enjoy that and you're, it's all done with the hooking. Okay?